How's it going everybody, Hockey 6 here, giving you guys another episode of The Crooked Man. Now I'm very again sorry that pretty much Pokey Lightning 36 cannot join me on this thing. Pretty much I'm terribly sorry about that, since I'm not going to be make fun of anymore. But here with me is with the co-host of my, she's one of my friends on Skype, please welcome Blues. Yep. And apparently she is... New to this Wolf RPG game, so let's give her a warm welcome. By warm welcome, I mean, holy crap, I'm going to actually die in this LP. <laughs> oh boy. This now, is apparently from last episode, we finished the hotel, and we had one of the good endings. Apparently, I would tell you what was the other choice on it, but I'm not going to, because it's not that very good and relevant. So... Here I am is at a law school where pretty much we had one of the letters that suggest. Now, I'm taking a real good guess that pretty much this model of the game right here looks a little bit from Misio, which I'm actually very surprised about that because not many games can still keep on continuing with the thing. So I'm hopefully hoping that maybe no demons could probably come in here because then I don't want that shit. I don't want anything about this and what kind of law school does this kind of crap a memo about repairs deep fissures in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse repairs needed alright so I guess that's kinda a clue but then again I don't know where else do we gotta go a list of factories criminal law John Kith Civil Law, Andrew Robinson, International Law, Person, and Priyamashlot. Apparently, there's a whole lot of people's names, and I they're not that probably maybe very relevant, but I don't know what I'm looking in this school is the question, because um, there's absolutely nothing. Just absolutely nothing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing in here. Can you tell me, Blue? <laughs> Tell me, Blue, why maybe am I those here? Names will, maybe those names will pop up. <laughs> Damn it, sorry. <laughs> if, all the, it, if all those names will pop up? Really? That's, yeah, uh, that's, pop up in an off style, you know? Maybe, Just maybe, that's really? not, maybe that's not good. What the hell? Away to the laundry hallway. Uh, apparently, that's a big door. And uh, I don't know where the frick I gotta go. There's a soda machine, but I don't need any soda because apparently <gasps> there's something sparkly and twinkly. What the hell is it? A nameplate reads Stacy Leeds. There's a key. Got the infirmary key. Alright, so it looks like I need to go to a doctor's lab or something like that. Uh. I don't need. If you get attacked by a monster, maybe that'll come in handy. No, maybe I don't need to. Why would I attack a monster with a key, is the question? No, I mean, what if. If we have an infirmary, if the monster attacks us, maybe we'll actually be able to put our heads back on. My head back... I'm, 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 I'm kind of confused <laughs> on that kind of part, because apparently I don't know if I can put my head back if the monster kills me. Apparently, I don't think there is not a monster, hopefully. And I, I just don't want that to happen. I don't want people to die so much. Now, where the hell is it? Oh, shit. The hell, I just saw a shadow. What the f I don't want to go... Was there Let's someone there? It. I couldn't really see them in the dark. What do you mean, couldn't really... That looked like me! Oh, boy. I'm really happy. You know what they say about doppelgangers, right? Um, I don't want anything about doppelgangers, but you're going to tell me anyway, and apparently I think it's bad news. Well, you see, the legend of the doppelganger is that if you see yourself, it means that you're... Your um, death is impending. So basically, what we're seeing is certain doom. So apparently I just want myself to die so badly, even though I don't want to die. Oh no, it's not that you want to die, it's that you're seeing a vision. A vision. A vision. See, oh, yeah. see, see, what happened in this character is that he's a little cuckoo in the head. Apparently he's seeing things, and there have been like games like that that has been so many times I don't like. The whole box would 
be too heavy to take. Why would I take the whole entire safe box? I could probably take two tools from it. Oh, so I have a choice. Um, I'll take a crowbar and a screwdriver. Okay, I just got a crowbar and a screwdriver. That's, that's, that's fine. Are screwdrivers even that heavy? Um, no, not really, but I think probably... I mean, that would have been a great option if I did take, like, all, all like, three of them. But then again, I just don't know. Just, and where does this key go is the question. I, I just don't know. said it was an infirmary key, so it's probably Well, where's the infirmary is the question. I went downstairs, was, was the basement, and both of the doors were locked. And I went up here, checked all the doors, and, well, on the There's left, another floor. Oh no, this there is? What the hell? See? Oh, there's a fourth floor. I didn't I, I didn't see it. Good eye. Good eye. Now I just need to find the infirmary, which apparently I kinda thought it was gonna be in this in the in the first floor, but I guess not. And what's this? Secret safe that requires passcode. Oh great, so now I need to find a little key code. I Try really the book book? There was an open book on the table. There was? Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Fuck! This is why two eyes are better than one. It looks like s some sort of diary. Michael's desserts made in into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class he'd be a part of I also realized he and I had the same birthday. I used my birthday as a secret code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. Well, what's your birthday? It, uh, can, can, it, is your birthday on there? No? Yes? Like, thank you for telling me the code is a birthday, but I don't have it. So, that's... That's crap. Yep. Thanks, game. That, 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 thanks a lot. It really, mean, it really means everything. Now, the question is, where the frick is the infirmary? Andrew Robin. Has a six-pin number. And then... Oh, look, something more twinkly. What is it? Documents are... Sworn on the decks, the key to the room is among them. Got a key to John... Key oh, so I guess probably all those people that we actually saw that list was actually dorm rooms. Of yeah. Let's see. Some sort of notebook. Now, what is in the notebook is the question. Time or... Times are changing. Our existent laws are no use anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. Sounds pretty dark. And it looks like there's looks like there's another safe with the security code. And apparently I'm gonna need to know that. But the question is Where is the goddamn infirmary? Do you think that maybe the bulletin boards on the wall have anything? Well, even if I try going close to the uh, to the bulletin boards, I'm pretty sure I can't actually reach it or something, maybe. But then again, that is another option. So, I gotta try everything. Just try absolutely every. Oh boy, there's, there's a book. There's a, there's a big red book. There's this big red book. It looks like some sort of diary. Yes, another diary. I lost the notes with my security box password, though I couldn't get into the computer room, and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a semester in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somewhere. I should go look. If I use my ID as a password, like Andrew does, then I would have forgot but that's risky but if you just use whatever then you have my problem 
Okay, so... We should probably check the front to see who, to figure out who everyone is. Since I have a feeling that this is all connected to some sort of logic puzzle. Well, pretty much we already had the key of... I, I think his name was John, so we have to look maybe for John. And then, um, hopefully, um... Find him, but... Then again, we need to look for the room, so... This is a bulletin board. Talk of events. Uh, I want to see where we can find his room is the question. I know down here had maybe like one or two. The reference. There's the reference room. Maybe there's um. It's locked. Apparently, we need a key for the reference room. Ah. Computer room. It's locked. And what room is this? Holler. Locked. Okay, so we so we can't open these doors here, but we still have to look for the hunt of the guy's room. So crap! I don't even know anymore. Well, there was a shadow here. I know. I know that, and he did went down here. Leafing Lee's. Apparently, these were the tool rooms in the area over here, and this is. Sures. These are some weird names that probably I shouldn't be surprised. That probably people would just put these in an RP. I thought they were yeah. actually like liter legitimate real names. I mean, that would be creative or something. Huge sounds like it'd be short for Eugene. Alright, the factory room. Apparently there's... Well, there's some notes here, but then again... A note read... Notice about keys. Room manager of the month. Don't lose the keys. Policy, society, reference room, policy, blah, 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 blah. Um, for John Key, apparently his key goes to the lecture hall. So, I guess probably since we have the key or something, I, I, I don't know. Hang on, let me look at my items. Oh, we just need to look for his room. Hmm. Oh boy. We could, we could try the lecture hall. I'm not sure if it'll work. I don't know. Just don't know. It's just like, it's just something that's like not really happening. Janitor's room. And what room is this? Infirmary. Oh, so we have the key for the infirmary. Okay. Alright, it looks a little bit doctory, but that's good. Uh, medical treatments. Oh, wow! Alright, so now we need to go look for that room of the... Paris. I think it was upstairs, I think. Yeah, second floor, all the way on the left. All the way on the left, okay. So at least we have, like, good memory. That's a good mm -hmm. thing. Okay, uh, up here, and then we go up here. I think we have to find it, so, uh, I don't know, there's really not much to talk about. I mean, like, we, no, we're just, like, exploring everything, and not many conversation. Is there anything you want to speak about? Not really, I'm just... This is a logic puzzle. I really love puzzles. I don't know. It's okay. Um, anthology and albums line in the shelves. Or see what the hell is that on the? What's this? I guess it's wire art or something. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, though. Hmm. Apparently it was made by Ray Swans, one of the lecturers. But well, what did it say is the question. La, la, la. The clock is stopped. How come every time I always look at a clock, it's always like, what, is, what does it look like? I mean, L O. I, 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 I Maybe don't... it's numbers. Maybe it's a code. One o one o one 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 one. 
I don't, I don't understand. I, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, I don't know what the freak is supposed to look like. I mean, we haven't found like a key or anything, so that's... Try the, try the waste paper basket. And then we could see if we could put in a security passcode. Trash cans. At the Ray Twain's room. Okay, well, so we need to look for, yeah, we need to look for Ray twin, uh, Twain's room. And apparently if it has a code or something, like probably we can access his... His box, his security box, then hopefully we have something. Now hopefully. The now, the question is, where the hell is his room? Was it, like, downstairs or down here? I think it was upstairs. Well, I'm just going to pretty much check every... Okay, this is, uh... This, and I'm taking a guess this is, um, Emmons... Yep. Here's, all right, so I guess probably he might be downstairs, but then again, I'll check upstairs again in case if that works. Okay, uh, ah, here it is. His room here. And apparently this is his computer. No power. Well, obviously no power. Yeah, it was a code. Uh... Well, let's see if this one worked. The code must have been wrong. Alright, well, his artwork was like... It had 10101111111. So, hmm. how does that work? Uh, I don't get it, I don't get it, I don't get it. Uh... had one so pretty much was like uh uh one got it one two four oh wait one two four oh just a suggestion <laughs> well, i don't then, know yeah it didn't might work. not be it then it didn't work. Oh, try the book on the table oh yeah there was a book on the table uh Let's see. Looks like there's some sort of. Indeed, law too needs a mercy appreciation. Uh, After all, basic things such as on or off, zero or one, could for much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking. I hold in high instance, though perhaps it's more of artistical knowledge that capitates me more than a mathematics. So he's talking about pretty much his art, but when it said that it was on or off, one, uh, zero or one. Check the... Um I want to check his artwork again, but that's like I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't understand. What was he trying to put? Like, what was he trying to pull onto the artwork? Is the question. Is art supposed to be on or off? Zero or one? Okay, well, it's the art right here. It's has like one zero and then and the middle one is one zero one but on the bottom it's one 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 one. So the million dollar question is what the hell is it supposed to be? What the hell does that mean is the question. I can't take it. I can't do it. Alright, but with that, um, we're a little time out, so I guess probably until next episode, I guess I'm going to try to figure out a little bit more about his artwork, I think. So, yeah, about that. But with that, we're going to end. This was Hockey 6 and Blue. Hello. And <laughs> you don't have to say hello. <laughs> You're, saying You're saying goodbye. You're saying goodbye.
<laughs> and we hope to see you guys on the next uh, episode. Take care, everybody. Bye.